Welcome back to the Dinner Party Show. I almost jumped the idea again this week. And this is, you know, what I've been waiting to say. Correct me if I get it wrong, Coco. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> did, I get, did I get close? Yeah. Is that all right? The lovely Miss Coco <laughs> Peru is yeah, here in the studio. <laughs> Welcome, Hello. Miss Coco. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. This is so fancy. Thank you. That's what we were going for yes. was fancy. Good, good. And we wanted you to be impressed. I'm we're very, we're very drag struck. <laughs> we're very drag struck <laughs> to have you on the show today. I'm sorry if the drag run has started to set in. <laughs> it's fortunate. <laughs> well, you are filming part of this. So we're people filming, so people will yeah. know. At home, that you're still as beautiful as we expected. Thank you for the low lighting. Oh, yes, Absolutely. yes. It's all about magic. <laughs> Me and Blanche Dubois, babe. <laughs> <laughs> we're catching you in between major world tours, right? You were just in Spain. Well, I was in Spain simply for vacation. Okay. That's where my husband lives. And right. we go, well, he doesn't live there. He's from, and we go there every year for the Whereabouts summer. Whereabouts in Spain? He's from Galicia, which is in the northwest, but we spend the summers in the southeast. Because that's as far from his family as you exactly. can be. Exactly. <laughs> no, 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 because the, the weather down there is yeah. so good. Of that's course. lovely. And now you're off to Provincetown. I, I am off to P-Town. I'll be doing eight shows there. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm one of the few people that like doesn't spend the whole summer there. I was yeah. thinking that, right? Because like, Varla Jean is there the whole the summer. The whole summer. Right, yeah. right. But and I can't do that. It's exhausting, well, right? Well, I think it's a visa thing with her. I don't think they actually let <laughs> her leave the city limits of Provincetown. I think she's trapped there. Right, exactly. But it's exhausting. You have to go out there and fly her for your show every every evening. I mean, I love it's, it. Yeah, but... it's great, but it is exhausting. And it's so not me to, like, stand out on the street and hawk myself, you know, as Miss Richfield drives by on her scooter. <laughs> Exactly. I can't compete with that kind of stuff. Yeah, no, you don't do scooters. So, no, I don't no. do scooters. Do you have I somebody stand yeah. with you and hold an umbrella? I for don't your actually. Head? I don't actually hawk my show. Oh I'm God, out there. good I for think you. That's yeah. a much better choice. And I wouldn't think you'd have to. You've uh, been. You well, were... no, I I do in a way. I mean, they have people do it for me because I I tried to work that in my contract because I did it once and it was, it it, it just. I, I was miserable. Yeah, right. and I, I, I really honestly think you have enough of a reputation that you could have people out with, you know, those paper masks handing out the I wire. I should do that. Right? The, the hair. Genius. Yeah, you could just cut yeah. it out like yes, those fans. Yeah, the hair, yeah. Yeah, and even could the be fan a fan could be a flyer. Just, yeah, yeah, but they could hold it over their face and hand out the thing. Why not? Yeah, mm -hmm. I got a million of them. We're trying to get somebody to sue us so that we can get some free publicity. <laughs> That's what we're trying for. So if you could say something really offensive today, we would really Fabulous. appreciate it. Fabulous. I put my yeah. foot in my not, mouth a few fat, times. Short of a fat one. Let's, but, not, you know. let's not go crazy. Let's not. It was a fun joke for the first few seconds. We'll segments. try and, you know, behave. But let's not go yeah, crazy. Yeah, because that sounds like what's going to happen. So the show that you're going to do this summer is called She's Got Balls. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. I just, I did it here uh, in Los Angeles, and then I traveled a bit with it before Spain and it's my brand new show and it's all about um uh, it's I feel like it's my sex positive show where it's just mm. a lot of funny stories but you know, with my shows there's always a point and um mm -hmm. well, one of my favorite coco quotes is uh if you've got the balls to change yourself, you've got the balls to change the world. Yeah, is like that... that's the secret drag queens have, is that you have the power to change I've always, If you're yourself. man enough to wear a dress down the street, by God, you got you got to have a big hefty pair. Yeah, I swear to God. When I lived in New York and I used to ride the subway in full drag, you know, my friends were like, you ride the subway in drag? I'm like, oh yeah, no one bothers me. Mm. If I went on the train with just the makeup on, I would be called names. Mm. But there was something about going all the way to that edge that I think people are just instinctively wired to respect. The, that the courage that, that it takes. They, yeah. they, they, even if they think you're crazy and you're weird, it's either that or they're thinking you're packing a pistol in your small handbag. But uh, either way works. They just kept it, their mouth shut. As long as shut. it works. Yeah. As long as it works. Then maybe they think you have experience defending yourself in those situations. If you're in the habit of doing it, you know how to handle yourself. Exactly. Right? Like, that's what the pistol A three-inch heel. Right. <laughs> right. Or just respect. Yeah. One of the things that I loved, we talked briefly about a, a project from your youth, um, Wigstock. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I loved about that film was the sort of underlying message of everybody's really in drag all the time. It's just a matter of what drag you're choosing to be in. And giving somebody the respect of, you know, I'm being who I am, it's like, all right, well, I may not agree with you, but my hat's off to you for being who you are. You Absolutely. know, like, I think that would surely have some sort of impact on, I don't know, I, it's such an interesting way to approach the world. I did drag one time because I got dared into it, and it was one of those experiences where 
it was so like I had great respect. Just the just the hassle of well, it. Well, it's a lot of work. Oh yeah. my god! And and then uh, after eight hours of it, I looked like Barbara Bush's plain yeah, sister. Yeah, and, and then like, it starts sliding. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Well, yeah. that's what we're talking about. Before I, I it's like. I, people will, I have old photos and, and people go, oh, you look so beautiful in, in, in this photo. And I go, you know, I always feel like now that I'm older, I have to tell them, that was not photoshopped. That's right. the way I really, really <laughs> looked back right. then. And I so didn't appreciate it, you know. Right. So, I'd I'll look in the you, mirror and see all the faults I'm back then. I'm sitting across from Coco Peru, and Coco Peru still looks pretty terrific. She's, those, she's those still beautiful got it, eyes, yeah. Yeah. Those eyes. beautiful eyes. My yeah. God, those beautiful, Tessie Technicolor with the well, hair and the eyes. Grew, and the, I grew up in the Bronx, as I said, in my family, in our small neighborhood, we were known for our eyes. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. I definitely, yeah, they're still working for is you. There, is there a certain calculus to it where you can look at somebody who's maybe a beautiful person in their, in their, their drag of origin and you think you would not work as a drag queen? Like, can you just look at somebody's face and their features and say it would that would go away? Or is there always a way to sort of make the transition? Oh, I, no, there's there's really hideous, hideous drag. <laughs> oh my but god! But I yes. can see, I can still find a way to celebrate even hideous drag because right. I think anytime someone uh, dresses up, or you know, if a woman decides to dress like me, anytime yeah. someone steps outside that box, that alone for me is a reason to celebrate it, even right. if it's just a mess, you yeah. know. And now. Uh, there are like Dina Martinez, a drag queen who who's, who's just grotesque, mm. and that's you know that, that there's something there to celebrate. As that's well. the thing. Yeah. yeah.